Hi, how are you? It's Travison here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some dinosaurs and helped Marshall's expeditions find their food and their research equipment. And today, we're going to finish off the Beware of Pterodax quest. And I think we'll probably pick up another one while we're out in Angoro. But yeah, big news, guys. Wrath of the Lich King's coming out September 26th. Pretty pumped up for that. Looks like we got a solid two months. And we will all be playing Wrath of the Lich King again. It's kind of cool. And it looks like we will have the 50% XP buff coming, I would assume, next week. I hope it's next week. I'm interested to see, like, how fast we travel through Outland and the Burning Crusade with that buff. Probably going to miss out on some zones, I think. Or at least one or two. Probably just one zone. Probably two zones. I wonder if I can see uh, Outland. Can I? These are the zones I think with with the fifty percent XP buff we'll probably miss out on. We won't miss out on the cool, like the really good ones, in my opinion. But Nether Storm and Shadow Moon Valley we'll probably miss out on those, but we'll most likely do all of these, like the main five. Nether Storm you need a mount to get up to, a flying mount, but I think we could have probably afford one. And then uh, Shadow Moon Valley. Pretty uh, end game, but I think with that 50% XP buff, you're going to uh, be cruising to 70. So there was only like one Pterodax up here. It's kind of odd. Don't know why uh, it's like that, but it is what it is. All right, so we're going to head over here to the Galaka Hot Springs. We'll see what's going on over there. Maybe we'll find some pterodaxes. we only seen one up there. They're pretty rare. And we need six more. Hopefully we can find some. But yeah, I'm interested to see... Um, how Nax is going to be. Supposedly, they're going to make it harder in Wrath of Lich King. They're going to try to. Because supposedly it was just really easy. And supposedly they're making heroics harder as well, so. Interested to see if they could pull that off in, you know, less than two months. Or well, pretty much two months. It's probably not that bad. I assume they just scale everything. As long as they don't make it too hard, right? Interested to see how hard heroics are. Because TBC heroics are actually a challenge. Alright, so you can see the spring over there. There's a little bit of steam up ahead. Oh, we got a big T-Rex here. Iron hide, a devil sword. Oh, there's a spring. Oh, yeah. Zeus just knocks us off our mount. Take him down quick. And I'm thinking about where to go next after... Uh we finish up here in Angoro. Thinking about checking out the Plague Lance. 
I think that would be kind of a cool area for a paladin to go to, you know? Give us a little bit of a... Uh, kind of um, like a sneak peek of Wrath of Lich King a little bit. You, you know, you're fighting the Scourge over there. Alright, so... Got hit pretty hard there. Almost died. Looks like we have a quest just over here. Gotta go talk to Crackle. Yo! The hot springs here are a source of mystery to me. Where does the heat come from? Looking at how close the pools are to Fire Plume Ridge, I really wonder if the volcano might have something to do with with it. Right what the heck's going on? <laughs> Why is this T Rex just attacking us? Just, just just walks right by Crackle. Doesn't even care. I guess he couldn't see him. It's hard to see him in the bush. Money, friend. Looking at how close the pools are to Fire Plume Ridge, I really wonder if the volcano might have something to do with it. I created a thermometer to take readings of the temperatures at the volcano and I'd like to find the hottest part. It gives the measurements in degrees crackle in height. Here, take it and take the readings of the temperatures at the ridge whenever you see a hot spot. Okay, so it looks like we have crackle's thermometer. And we have to take the temperature of Fire Plume Ridge. Head over there. I'm surprised we didn't pull the the T Rex. Maybe he just attacks. Thing is, I've been attacked by him before, just from aggro radius. So I was kind of weird how he didn't attack us there. We're only like one level higher than him. And so we will probably be climbing Fire Plume Ridge, I assume. We gotta look for the springs. Or the geysers. I wonder if this counts. Where we're at right now. Looks like we're going all the way up here. Oh, there's a geyser right there. Let's see if we can use the thermometer. Here. Requires Fire Plume Ridge Hotspot. It's not a hotspot? Okay. Alright. Looked like a hotspot to me. This place looks pretty hot. What about here? No? Oh, we're getting scorched. It's no good. Guess we'll have to fight this guy or he's just gonna keep chasing us down. Heal up. Look at this guy. This guy looks cool. Blaze Runner? This guy looks really cool, man. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to fight him. He's an elite, level 56. He's gonna kick the crap out of us. Getting out of here. All right, see you later, Blaze Runner. I want to mess with you. Leave me alone. Hey, it's a fifty-six elite. I wonder if we can beat that guy. I'm gonna give it another try, but the thing is, we lost Bubble. We don't have Leon Hands anymore. I'm gonna heal up here. Go back up. 
I don't think we need to fight him to get this quest done, though. I guess we'll fight this guy for now. Gotta get back up anyway. Guy hits pretty hard, though. I'm not too sure if we can beat him. We didn't really hit, hit him very hard. Create another one of these guys. Alright, so here we are. We're going back up again. It looks like this has to be like a hot point. Still got a couple minutes on our bubble. Probably need that if we want to fight this guy. So we'll fight this last Scorching Elemental. I think this would be the hot point. Alright. Temperature reading. Measuring by crackle in height, it is 428,000 degrees. That's crackly. All right, so that must be pretty hot. But we're paladins, we can handle it. All right, so we got two minutes on our divine shield. I'm gonna drink up here. And uh, we'll give, um, we'll fight this guy over here. Give him a try, the blaze runner. All right, here we go again. Blaze Runner, let's go. Fight. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's not cool, man. Okay. It's a little too strong for us, I think. He'll knock us back again. We gotta lay on hands just in case. Yeah, he's too strong. He's too powerful. It's time for us to get out of here. <laughs> That knockback's pretty strong, too. Alright, so we found the hottest area of Fire Plume Ridge. I guess we'll head back. Maybe we'll just go south. Fact, there's another uh, Teradax location. And then on our way back, we'll, uh, we'll turn this Finding the Source quest in. But yeah, that elite was too strong for us. Who's that guy? The Blazing Invader. Kind of looks like he's like a fell, fell flame around him. Yeah, Gore Crater, dangerous place. I must say. Easy place to die. Kind of reminds me of Stranglethorn Vale. So this is one of the spots right here. Should be a decent amount of pterodaxis. I hope there's a bunch, because if there is, we should be all right. Oh. Don't see anybody here. Oh, there's one.
Well, we should probably get a... We don't have Cure up. Alright, so we need five more. There's like none up here. There's like only one. Alright, let's drink up. go any higher. Doesn't look like it. I if there's like another area that we can go check out. Because I have a feeling if we go back to that other Pterodax location in the north, there won't be five. Still. I hope there's like another location around here. We can find a couple Pterodaxes. Maybe up here. Okay, so there we go. We found one here. Terrifying screech. Is that it? Like, uh, I don't know why they did this. Like, each spawn has one only. <laughs> it's so silly, man. There should be, like, I don't know, five up here? Well, at least more than one. Maybe two? I don't think that's too much to ask. We'll see if there's, like, another area over here that we can go to. I think this is the way out. Maybe? We're getting close to the entrance to Tanaris. Alright, any pterodaxes here? Doesn't really look like it. Okay, one. Yeah, at least we're getting one per, per area. Maybe we're, we should get one at the other one, so that put us at eight. So we need like two more around here. Maybe we'll get two. The one up there. Who knows? Maybe we can find one over here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, that might be it. I don't think there's like another area of some. Which is fine, it's not a big deal. And yeah, now we're at the Raptors. I think up here is like where the the road to Tenaris is. Pretty sure. So we can go over to the middle here. Sometimes in the middle you can see a pterodax or two. Hope we can find two. So I know there will be at least one up here. Oh, is that one? There we go. I just need to find one more after this.
All right, maybe we'll find another one on our way over to the Kalaka Hot Springs. Is that one? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna finish this quest today, I think. Pretty sure we will. Watch out, we got a Dimetrodon getting to us. And there we go, we got, got nine now. Let's head over to the hot springs and we'll turn this other quest in. See if there's any follow-ups. There's another T-Rex. The Tyrant Devil Sword. Oh, there's another Pterodax. So there we go. GG. done and now we just got to turn this quest in so yeah this middle part's pretty good for pterodaxes usually i always thought they were in high points but it seems like the middle's not too bad there's a stegodon are they all elites the stegodons yeah i didn't know that Pretty sure it's around here. Gotta go around the lake a bit here. Pretty tough to find because he's hiding in a bush, but he's there he is. The old quest marker to save the day. What's up? I go there myself, but I'm a little scared of the fire elements there. Yes, I definitely see the correlation here between the temperature of the volcano and the hot springs for accuracy, but it seems like the distance and the rate that the heat is transferred. Hmm. Now I've heard about other hot springs in a place called Winter Spring, far to the north of here. The strange thing is, there are no volcanoes anywhere near them. Interesting, I know. Well, if you want to find out more, you should head to the Winter Spring and speak to a friend of mine. Her name is Denova Snowden, and she's currently staying by the hot springs there. Thanks again for helping me with my thermometer. See you again. See you later. Glad I could help. Okay. So now we have to um, head over to, I guess, Winter Spring. To turn in that quest. Yeah, the new springs. We have another quest to actually turn into in the Burning Steps called Felnox Steel Spring. I think we have to meet him in Winter Spring too. Yeah, we do. All right, so we got a couple of Winter Spring quests that we could turn in eventually. Have to go through Fellwood to get there, though. Yeah, I'm not too sure. The thing is, if we go to the Plague Lands, I think we'll most likely hit 60 there. So we'll probably miss out on these Winter Spring quests. Because I do plan on doing a couple of dungeons while I'm uh, going from 57 to 60. Could do a lot of them in Blackrock Mountain. And so this should be Marshall's Refuge just over here. Mm 
We just have to turn in this Pterodax quest. I believe we picked this up from... Yeah, this poster here. This wanted poster. We got some blood pout. Some blood pests after us. So we'll just die to the... What the heck? Should be dying to the Retribution Aura. It's not really doing any damage. Okay, beware of Pterodax. I am absolutely terrified of the Pterodax here. Thank you for decreasing their numbers, Travenin. Now I might feel safe enough to venture out of Marshall's Refuge. Alright, so we got some plate, uh... Yeah, we'll probably take... I don't know. If either we take the... I don't think we're going to take the male hands. Probably just go with the... plate boots. There we go, guys. We're now four bars away from 57. Not sure what we'll do next episode. Maybe we'll make our way over to the Plague Lands. Or maybe we will uh, continue questing here on Girl Greater. But that's the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.